We've just set up the settings tab. We've gone through each one of the sub tabs and we've uh, we've told all they sucker um, kind of what how we want it to act for us. So now we can move on to the pingers tab here. By default, we're just using pingomatic. Pingomatic is a directory, uh, a ping directory out there that actually pings out. The reason why we use pingomatic by default is because pingomatic will ping out. We ping only pingomatic, and they will ping out then to about 16 different ping directories for us. So this saves us the trouble of having to ping out to all of those different directories. Pingomatic will then ping out for us to several uh, additional directories. So that kind of saves us some hassle. This is what I prefer to use, is just use Pingomatic. It does do the job. Now, I also have a list of other ping, uh, additional ping resources. And you can add uh, pingers from a file by hitting the load button here which I'll go ahead and, and show you now. Um, I have on my desktop a list of additional um, additional pingers. Okay. I'll go ahead and load that and we're going to have to actually hit save at this point. Okay. So now we have a bunch of additional um, ping sites to ping out to. Okay. So that would just give us more reach, but it's not really necessary. Pingomatic should be quite enough unless you would just like to experiment pinging different directories. And there's nothing wrong with that. You might actually get some benefit from it. Okay, so now we can move on to the user agents. Now what this does is it tells, uh, it actually, when you ping your pages out to a ping directory, you're going to be using a user agent. So the ping directory is going to see that you are using a browser, the Mozilla 4 browser, for example. Um, by default, we've provided a bunch of different um, user agents, and it will just randomly choose one of these 14 user agents. So there's really not anything to worry about here unless you don't like the default list and you would like to change that, which you can do by using these tabs here, these buttons. Okay, uh, the debug, you can see if there's any errors, and again, you're going to find errors. Uh, that are generated from the pin, uh, from the proxy list, but you can ignore those. Help tab if you need to come to our site or whatever. Okay, and now we're pretty much ready to run. We've got a list of our sites. We've got all of our settings set up. We have our pingers chosen, our user agents. We're ready to run, so we just go ahead and hit the start button. At this point, um, we're going to go ahead and ping out to 50 pages. But for the sake of this demo, I think that we're better off just... Um, well, no, we'll go ahead and, yeah, we're only going to be pinging two to five pages, so that should be plenty. We'll go ahead and here and hit start, and you'll be able to see as the uh, little progress bar moves along, it's pinging out to several different pages now. And it will only take a few seconds to a few minutes, uh, depending on how many pages that you um have all this sucker set up to ping for you. And once it's done, it's going to go into hibernation mode. In hibernation mode, it's just sitting there and not doing anything and until it's uh until it's ready to ping again. Okay, so if you tell it to ping 5 pages every 12 hours, it's going to ping 5 pages now. It's going to go into hibernation mode. You'll know it's in hibernation mode when the red slowly um, um, flashing red LED here is going. So it's in hibernation mode and it has pinged out. You can view your log file if you like and kind of see some of the results here. This is where a lot of people get worried and think that 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 it's not working when in fact most of the time it is and it just kind of depends. You're, you're going to see, like I said, errors in here. But you can go through and check this out if you like. And you can see that, you know, that all of our pings are succeeding. Um, the reason you see so many here is because 
it's pinging two to five pages out to a bunch of different um, actually what a lot of what you're seeing here is just the actual the spider finding the pages as you get down to the bottom this is where it's actually going out and pinging the pages for you um, if you get in there and you open this up you can you can see um, you're going to find certain errors and you're going to find certain su um, ping succeed. It, what it's going to do though, one thing that's really important to note is that any time that there is an error, um, and you can see here for example we pinged out to syndicate and this is the page that it pinged out and you can see that there were zero errors and that they re sent us a message back that said thanks for the ping so we succeeded on that ping and uh, sometimes you might see that there are errors but that the, the ping actually was successful um, sometimes you'll see that the ping failed because and anytime I've seen um, anytime that I've seen a ping fail it's almost always because sometimes here like if you ping too often to pingomatic they'll they'll tell you to stop pinging so often here but uh anyway so anyway this is the log file can come in kind of handy but it also can be a little bit confusing you can see here that they've sent us a message uh, pingomatic has said that uh, that that they've received our ping and then that they're they're forwarding those pings out to 16 different services so you can see that it's working now if you were to go out now and go into your uh, into your site's log files you should see already that Google and various other search engines have already accessed your pages so it does work that fast usually within all my test is, tests it usually the spiders will find your pages within 30 seconds so uh, you can test that out if you like and other than that um, what I usually do is I'll just go ahead and close all day sucker now um, and and tomorrow I'll come back and I'll ping again if my pages are not indexed yet I'll just keep doing this now one thing I would like to touch on though is pinging multiple sites at one time um, you can of course add multiple base URLs and by doing that you can actually be pinging out to you know one site five sites ten sites all at once a hundred sites whatever you don't have to just restrict yourself to only one page but the only real difference here is that you're going to add additional URLs and that's pretty much it so at that point when you go to the run tab and hit start it's going to ping two to five pages for every single site so it's going to take a while but <clears throat> So that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot more to get into here. Um, should be pretty good to go. So if you have any questions, make sure you go ahead and email us at keywordcandy.com or use our support station, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Until next time, this is G-Dog signing off. <laughs>